Hi, I'm Sarah Mulligan from 360 Wix, and I'm here today to talk to you about syncing smaller with MirrorSync. MirrorSync is a FileMaker synchronization tool used to sync FileMaker Server to FileMaker Pro and FileMaker Go. And the traditional way is to set it up so that it syncs a whole database with a whole database. What I'm going to show you here today is how to do that, but with a smaller file. All right, so I've got a solution already set up to sync with MirrorSync. Here I've got the FM starting point solution. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to download a copy of this database. Now, typically we'll just download a straight copy of the database and press the sync button and be good to go. Um, but I'm going to do a little tweaking before I get there. So I'm just going to download a full copy of the database to my desktop. And I'm going to open it up with an admin account so that I can show you guys what I've done. Now, what I've done to this is, and you can see this is a pretty big file. It's got a few thousand records in it. Um, and they belong to different accounts. Um, so what I've done is I've actually set up in plain old vanilla FileMaker security, um, I've set up another account called 360 Sales. Uh, and what this is going to do is only going to have access to certain records out of those thousands of records that were in my big table. Um, I now only can see the records when the account name equals 360 works. This is a great security if you've got a sales team or something like that where you want everybody to only see the leads that they have. Um, and this is not part of MirrorSync. This is all still within the FileMaker security concepts. So I'm going to close out of that. I'm actually going to show you what this looks like when you're logged in as one of these restricted users. So I'm going to open this file up again, but this time I'm going to plug in the 360 Works sales account. And again, this is still the full big file. Uh, and we'll go back to projects. And you'll see that we've got a few thousand records here. Um, but, oh, most of these records we really don't have any access to. So that's perfect, but that will still take up space. And if you're putting this file on an iPad or an iPhone or something like that, um, or you're emailing it, you don't want to take up that much space with all those no access records. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a copy. And I'm going to save it as a clone. And what this will do, will save the copy of the database with, but without any records. We'll still have our layouts, we'll still have our scripts, we'll still have our data model. But now we're going to have this nice empty clone that we can use to start with. So again, I'm going to log in as the 360 Works sales account here. I'm going to go get back to projects and see, no records. We still have our layout, we still have our scripts and everything, but we don't have all of those records that we don't have access to. We don't have any records. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the mirror sync script and I'm going to enter in my restricted account password. And what this is going to do is this is going to run back to FileMaker server and ask FileMaker server for the records that are available to us because we can't see records that we don't have access to. So what this is going to do is essentially download just the records that we have access to and give us a nice small file with nothing but what we need. So here we can see that it found three, it found one, it found five records to send to us. And it's going to download each of those records from each of those tables and put them in our clone. So now that we've synced with this file, it's only going to have the records that we need. And I'll finish. See, added 55, added one, added four. Perfect. So now when we look, we don't have thousands of records. We have three. These are three projects that we have access to. For other tips, uh, you can try and remove unneeded layouts, especially graphic heavy layouts, but make sure to keep your sync layouts. Um, and you can also keep uh, your mobile optimized layouts. So you could say only have your iPad or iPhone layouts that you need. Uh, you can also configure MirrorSync to only sync the tables that it needs. So if you never tell MirrorSync about a certain table, you never set up a sync layout for it, MirrorSync won't care. MirrorSync will let you just uh, do as you please. And when you have that empty clone, it won't download all of those tables. In the same way, don't sync with all the fields either. Um, if you have container data that you don't necessarily need to sync, uh, don't sync it. Leave that field or leave that container off those sync layouts. MirrorSync won't know about them, and therefore MirrorSync won't sync them. You can also do a one-way sync. And what this will do is you distribute that clone, um, but you distribute that to everybody and then they can enter in data and send that back to the server. That'll prevent you from having to download anything. It's just pushing data back up. That would be perfect for like mobile data collection, sending an empty clone out to the field. They punch in the data they need and they send it back home um, so that you can do with it as you need to with import scripts or what have you. 
Um, so that's it. If you guys are interested in more FileMaker synchronization tips, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channels. Um, you can also check out our website at 360works.com and go to our website and download MirrorSync. There's a free trial if you want to try it out. Uh, 360works.com slash MirrorSync. And there you can get all the information on 360works MirrorSync and all of our tips on synchronization. Uh, that's all I have for today. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time.